guys, Tony Ash coming to you from Tony'sHarleyBlog.com. So, um, quick video. I uh, I want to talk about this little guy right here. This is the infamous key fob that Harley for Harley Davidson. Now, it could apply to other motorcycles as well, but I can speak to you about the Harley Davidson. <clears throat> So um, this is my 2014 Street Glide. About three years ago, my wife and I moved to Tennessee. It's a beautiful Sunday. She flies out on business. I jump on my 2009 Street Glide, head out, um, realize I need gas. I'm about 15 minutes into this. Pull over to a gas station, gas up. <clears throat> of course, turn the bike off, gas it up, finish gassing, go to crank the bike back up, nothing. <clears throat> Lights are flashing, security systems flashing. I'm thinking to myself, what the heck is going on? So turn it off, wait a second, turn it back on, same thing. So I have this beautiful Harley Davidson sitting at the gas station. People are looking at my bike, my bike won't start. So I've got to push it off, push it up to the front of the store. So I get on the phone, I called the local dealership, explained to them, got somebody in service, they had no clue. Called the dealership in, um, in South Haven, Mississippi, Southern Thunder Harley Davidson, got a service guy on the phone that was very intelligent, listened to what I was telling him and he said, um, he said, do you have a key fob? And I said, absolutely. He says, I'll bet you that it's your battery in your key fob. And I'm thinking to myself, great. Go into the store. Of course, they don't have the right battery. So I finally got a hold of somebody, my neighbor. Of course, I don't know many people. Just move here. He's kind enough to drive down and pick me up. Takes me to a local Kroger gas station. And I go in and I buy a two-pack of these. Uh, Ever, This happens to be an Ever Ready. It's the, the model is a 2032. It's the round watch style battery. Pop the key fob open, put the new battery in there, bam, the bike starts up. So the reason I'm coming to you with this story, about two weeks ago, I'm in Dallas on business, I'm in a hotel room, about 7.30, my phone rings, it's a buddy of mine from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. He's got a beautiful road key. He calls me and he goes, Tony, he goes, man, my bike won't start. He says, I said, oh, what's going on? I said, don't you have it on a battery tender? He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, my bike won't start. He says, nothing. He says, just everything's flashing. And I said, so do you have a key fob, right? He said, yeah. I said, I'll, I'll bet you a cocktail. I know what it is. So I said, take your, drive down to take, open up your key fob, drive to a Walgreens, uh, a supermarket or whatever, and get yourself a 2032 battery and replace the key, replace it in a key fob. Sure enough, he calls me about 30 minutes later. He goes, man, I, I owe you a drink. I said, yes, you do. It's a lot cheaper than a service call. So, so. The reason I'm mentioning this was I was just I just had a conversation with a, a good buddy of mine that owns psychotherapy in South Haven, Mississippi, Jamie, and I was telling him the story and he says, you know what? He says, people take it for granted. He says, I tell people, change your battery every year like you do your smoke detectors. Now I've been on the cycle of changing my battery and my key fobs every two years, but for a buck fifty a piece, you might as well change them once a year. So can you imagine being 500 miles out of town, or it doesn't matter, 100 miles out of town on some back road, you pull over to stretch your legs, you turn your bike off, you've got a key fob, right? You get back on your bike, you go to start it, nothing. So, crazy. Dollar fifty key fob, the battery is a 2032, it's the big watch battery, it takes a second to change it out. So, I would highly recommend, if you don't change them out once a year, at least every two years. I did learn that Harley suggests you change them every three years. I went three years. I wouldn't go three years because my bike wouldn't start. So, so that's my uh, that's my tidbit for the week. Um, again, Tony'sHarleyBlog.com. Be safe and ride it like you stole it.